Hi guys, welcome to Murkit Studios. It's me, Murkit. It's been a while since I last did a voiceover for any of my videos, so forgive me if I'm a little rusty. If you're new to this channel, please check out my work and my social, all my social media to see what else I've done in the past uh, or in the present, but what I've been up to. Um, you can also like and subscribe this channel if you actually like what you see. Um, but yeah, it's been a long, long time and I am glad to be back. So today we'll be painting a picture of Bilbo Baggins. Bilbo is the puppet who started it all for the Lord of the Rings. He's the adventure seeker, seeking hobbit, pipe toting, and generally he was the one who, be, who began the adventure that is The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings. I really love this series of books, so I actually picked it as my topic for One Thing October for kicking the creatives. Um, that, that's the challenge they have in that group, wherein you have to buy, I mean, paint or draw one thing in October. And I chose J.R.R. Tolkien's universe from the Silmarillion to the Lord of the Rings and to the Hobbit. Uh, I have been drawing elves and painting dwarves all October. I'm also doing Inktober, but then that took a back seat. And also am doing right now Washtober, which is like Inktober except in wash. There's no particular topics, just painting wash for the whole October, which I've been doing with the Lord of the Rings series. And it's been getting a little bit of attention, I have to admit, and I'm, I really appreciate that. Today I am painting um, Bilbo Baggins twice in this video. One is his old form, which is played by Ian Holm and his younger form, Martin Freeman, um, which I will be painting in the next page over. I sketched this with a light blue colored pencil so um, all the lines won't be seen. And I'm painting right now with Holbein gouache. I love the way Holbein gouache um, is as a wash paint. Um, it's bright, it's colorful, it's actually creamy and I just like the way it applies even when I put um, a lot of water in it I like some water in it um, it actually dries vibrant and the colors stay almost the same there's not a lot of um, difference where from when it was from it when it was wet to when it's dry which I really appreciate because um, painting with the thing with gouache is that when you paint it and when it dries, there's some difference between um, wet and dry paint. I am also, well, just also learning how to apply it thickly. But right now I'm um, painting it much like watercolors with a lot of water because I'm really not sure of where I'm going with this um, painting yet. It usually take um, about an about twenty to thirty minutes to do each painting for washtober. I try to um, limit the time so I can learn how to be quick and making the, and not agonize ev over every color decision that I'm making. And use and that has turned out great for me lately. Uh, it's been teaching me how to make better color decisions and also teaching me how to um, be bolder with my strokes instead of um, using agonizing every over every single detail and that makes it a lot more painterly and a lot more well more expressive as I think um, yeah and well Although it's a sketch and it's it's pretty 
as you can see I'm I'm brushing it it's be, it's always been fun to paint uh, characters off the Lord of the Rings and paint with gouache like this although um, I would probably thicken up the paint like I'm doing now with the coat uh, a lot more next time I really like how it this painting is turning out wow. it actually looks like Ian Holmes so I'm pretty proud of that yeah so I also want to talk about today what my plans are for this channel and what's going on in my life recently I've moved to from Japan to the Philippines I've lived in Japan for a few years that why I haven't been making a lot of videos I've been really really busy and now that I'm back home I can I have more free time to make videos and do more art which I have been doing for the past few months um, also I am, I am wanting to update my portfolio update my art art um, page and everything else to make sh to make sure that I can um, to well I guess just to update everything because a lot of my style has changed for the past few years um, but then um, part of that plan is also to make regular YouTube videos so I hope you will join me as I study and paint and draw um, in the next few months I'm hoping to release a video every Tuesday and Thursday um, and maybe even more as I go through my studies yeah uh, I'm also planning to do some merchandise once I'm a lot more confident with my style so I'm hoping that you guys will support that as well so what have you guys been up to what have you been listening to i mean watching recently have been really binge watching a lot of wash painting um videos on youtube especially um from chris hong who's a wonderful artist i really 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 love her style so i would try to emulate her style of painting into mine but um yeah, as you can see it's really i'm still not quite there yet and um i also watch a lot of stephanie laws drawing and yeah i've been trying to get better at painting learning a lot about backgrounds as well because before I would you not draw a lot of backgrounds and now I actu actually like drawing backgrounds it actually makes my picture well kind of have a st more of a body to it more story rather than just having them float around in a white space um, I've also been learning landscapes lately so I'm hoping that to do a video of that but most of my landscapes are on my um, Facebook and Instagram pages what else it's I guess it's just been quite a, t um, a long time since I actually talking to Mike this long so I really really don't know what to say I'm babbling right now and as I hopefully not botch this um, painting of Ian Holm <laughs> and yeah I, uh, I guess um, I'll let you enjoy the painting for a while I hope you enjoyed me watching um, me f 
struggle with Bilbo Baggins. And yeah, this I am now starting with the younger Bilbo, um, played by Martin Freeman in the movies and this is going to be quite a struggle for me because i actually drew him really really small so yeah this is going to be fun i first i started out with laying in the eyes and the shadows of the face where i can so i can um, not lose the shadows and hope that I can keep it, keep it the way it was in the picture. Um, I had, I know I had a hard time with the hair as well for this painting because um, Hobbit hair is very curly and there's a lot of shadowing going on, and it's really difficult to actually manage the shadows and not go overboard with it. Um, I also had a hard, hard time with the f clothing for this piece because, first of all, I drew it really, really small. So I had, I'm struggling with um, how small it was. And second, I don't really draw fabric that much. So it was a nightmare for me to draw all those little folds and details of the clothes. But I remember I enjoyed really doing this piece because, well, it was Bilbo Baggins and I love um, the lore of the Lord of the Rings and the legendarium of it. I love the stories, I love, and I used to study Elvish just because I loved it so much. I was um, a teen when it came out in the came out and I remembered buying even and I still have it the extended versions and just drowning myself in the um, in the majesty of it J.R.R. Tolkien was truly a genius when he wrote these books and they were about deeper things than magic and elves and good guys and bad guys they were about the industrialization how he didn't like how people were destroying nature just to advance in technology and it was his stand against that and there was a good of course good against evil he he even had um, a really good character Eowyn who was badass woman fighting and ta and um, killing the witch king of Angmar just and he's and she was one of the, her lines was, I am no man. And I think that was really, really, really empowering. So kudos to um, Sir Tolkien for all that. Um, for me, Bilbo was a very, very strong character as well. Although he did succumb to the ring, he remained simple and he remained um, pure. As a hobbit and as a person and I appreciate that because uh, where in where he could have used the ring for all the riches in the world and just power he had the ring of power in his hand and he kept it in the chair and used it for party tricks of all things but yeah, even though Gandalf scolded him, that was how simple Bilbo was and how simple his life was. Was and all he wanted to do was finish his book and be at peace. And I think that is beautiful. That's what something that we should aim for: be being at peace. Um, I babbled on too much about um, characters, and now I am doing what I was saying earlier I was having a hard time with this pants because really um, I really need to practice a lot more of the fabric and doing fabric folds because this is horrible <laughs> um, so anyway uh, I guess practice will make perfect and I will manage to make this work somehow and 
blend it out so it actually looks like some form of fabric and not whatever it is right now yeah so are any of you Tolkienites or are any of you um, uh, addicted to the Lord of the Rings as, as the same as I do please leave that in the comments and let me know what you think about this pa these paintings of um, Bilbo Baggins uh, also tell me who, who your favorite characters are from the Lord of the Rings mine's definitely Eowyn and Legolas and I also love Gimli and um, uh, if we're going as far as um, the Silmarillion, I I do love Maedros and uh, all that. Um, yeah, just leave a comment and talk to me. I would love to respond to your comments and let me know what you think about this this painting and um, what do you want me which characters would you want me to do next and if there's anything you want me to paint or any questions feel free to leave it leave a comment down below and let me know uh, yeah I guess by this time I was really trying to finish the painting because I was getting close to my 30 minute time limit for this painting and yeah i set a 30 minute time limit on myself just because i didn't want to sh to um get too um what do you call that too caught up in the details of each painting and just learn how to use gouache in a bold way which i hope i have achieved in the last month hmm. This pose was actually really difficult also to paint because of the hands and draw too. I really don't draw hands very well so I was hoping I could hide them but then he was holding the ring and there was no way I could hide them as well. Hmm. Uh, I guess I could have done more to the shadows and my probably my favorite part of this piece was the hobbit feet which i was painting right now which is right now off camera but then you'll see them a little bit later in the video um i love hobbit feet i think they're so so funny and cute uh yeah i guess i'll let you enjoy watching some of the rest of the painting i'll talk to you again later So here are the hobbit feet I was talking about. I loved how they turned out and they actually look like feet. And yeah, now I'm painting Sting. Um, I should have painted it a, bit more, a little bit more blue, not gray, but you know, I wasn't really thinking earlier. I was nearing my time limit, so I was rushing to get all of this done. So yeah, it's been really fun doing this exercise um, I would probably paint them again slower and not rushed in any way and and I would probably do a lot more to the background rather than just giving him this nice ring in the back you know on in hindsight that ring really reminded me of the Hobbiton door 
that Ian Holm is standing in front of and so it's kind of do getting full circle so if you enjoyed this video I hope you give it a thumbs up and click and subscribe and I'll try to uh, make more paintings and more content art content that might entertain you and if you enjoyed me re um, hearing me babble let me know or if you want me to shut up let me also know and just I'll just do speed paints um in any case I enjoyed making this video and I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful Halloween and have a wonderful um October so yeah and I will call this painting finished and I hope that you guys have a great day thanks and God bless Bye.